before I get started today, if you haven't watched the video on this Otterman Outdoors belt clip and uh, aftermarket uh, addition to your Cons Bowl or Eldris Sheath or Garberg for that matter, uh, this fire steel holder, there's some, some cool things going on here. I think you should just go ahead and watch the video. I have a quick tabletop overview and you could probably skip that one and just go right to the review where I actually show you in detail using it and what I think of the product. Uh, basically, it's amazing, fantastic, I love it. I want you to go check that video out if you haven't seen that yet for these model of knives, the Cons Bowl, the Eldris, the Garberg. But good news if you own something different. So today I'm doing a tabletop and I'm going to show you here on the table and then another video showing you out in the field. A lot of us have a, a heavy duty Mora, Mora companion or a regular Mora companion. And so what I'm using here, I think this is the HD. I think this is, well, it's a Mora companion. Anyways, this Mora companion uh, doesn't have a fire steel loop. It does have a clip and I do like this. This is useful. The button loop can be useful, but mostly just the quick on and off feature here. This is the way that I wish um, a lot of knives would come with just something like this. Functions does well for me, even though this one doesn't in particular fit in a lot of molly. Um, it's, it's a decent sheath. I like this. Uh, easy to clean out, easy to get blood out of it or dirt or whatever else. And um, especially with stainless knives, I, I really do like something like this. But I don't like that there's no fire steel loop. And I, I'm always trying to figure out a way to put one on. You know, I had made my own uh, Kydex kind of wrap at a certain point, which was supposed to go on here like this and then put the fire steel loop through it. But then it was always so hard to get out. And this, I just didn't trust it because mine didn't fit very tight and it has a flap on it. Just not a great design, but Otterman Outdoors just sent over some stuff they're working on. So what you're looking at here are some packages of different designs with different features that are going to work with basically the one of the most prominent Mora knives ever created. I mean, this is everywhere. This is in hardware stores. This is very, very affordable to pick up online. So even if you didn't have this knife yet, it would be very affordable for you to get this and then a fire steel loop and it's way cheaper than other options out there that are Kydex and come with a fire steel loop. Even so, buying the accessory and the knife, it's ex extremely affordable. So this is a good option. So I just want to show you a little bit of uh, what he sent me here. So there's a few different options. If you're not familiar with Otterman Outdoors, uh, this is 3D printed material. So it's going to come to you in a little package like this. And inside, you're going to get your sticker from that, which is really nice. This is a small... A small operation guys and he's putting a lot of effort into this he's giving you as much as he can for that price I, I really appreciate that uh, he's got a really nice business card looks like everything he does is pretty high quality so kudos to you at Otterman Outdoors here's kind of a basic level one this one is a, a particular design that has a little pass through here so there's a little slot on the sides this one happens to be in green so there's your fire steel loop holder a lot of people uh, like those really big fire steels right now, like the, the giant size ones, and I think this will fit most of those. Um, I'd have to get a calipers out. In fact, I have a calipers. I'm going to measure it for you because I know some of you are going to ask. So I'm just going to measure it. So the size looks like to me it'll fit up to that size of a fire steel rod. That's the gap that I'm getting measuring inside that fire steel loop hole with no filler. But the nice thing is if you have a, a slightly worn version of those or just a little bigger fire steel, there's an insert that fits right in there like that. And uh, they fit really nice. They're, they don't come out super easy, which is what you want. You want them to fit in there tightly or the one that I would use. This usually fits my smaller sty style uh, fire steels. Like here's a little worn down one. This kind of thing right here, this is probably what I would end up putting in there. So I just put that in and this is going to slip over and I'm gonna take the knife out. And oh, there we go. Kind of clicked in there a little bit. So that's how that is gonna work. Your fire steel would go in right there and then uh, you could bungee it around there. That's what I would suggest just for any fire steel is use bungee and then go around your loop kind of like what I did on this L dress right here just so you don't lose it. It's pretty important and that right there 
is actually very secure on there. Let me show you how hard I have to pull to get this off. So, to get it off of there, I'm giving a lot of effort, and that's just a friction fit. One easy thing you could do, and I've considered doing this with some of my other knives, um, but with something like this, I don't think I'm going to be taking this off and on a lot. I, I would say you could go ahead and just glue it on there, or get some epoxy. Just glue the thing straight to it, and, uh, and then you'll have no concerns gluing it on there. With this model, uh, this model is removable because you can slim down this package. You don't have to have this on there. This is not permanently attached. I would not glue this on there because it snaps into place really nicely. This one is a friction fit, um, but it did almost feel like it did snap in just a little bit. And it fits extremely tight. So like, like you saw there, hard to take off. And there would be the package. Really nice. It's actually placed uh, at a more desirable place for uh, grabbing the fire steel. Just right up there is where I would want it to be. So it's out of the way. It clears the thumb ramp. Does everything I want it to do there. So that's kind of the basic level one. Let me move on here. <sighs> Fits tight. There's a black version. And so with this version, you'll have to check it out on eBay. I'll, I'll have a link down in the description so you can see what's going on. With this version right here, go ahead and throw this throw this in. How did I have this set up? So going like that. So this one also has a little bit of a gap. There we go. There's a little bit of a gap on the sides, just like the other design does. Just a difference in design. Fit it on there real tight. And this one has a compass built into it. So hopefully you can see that okay. Try to focus a little bit here. There's a compass built into it. And so you take your knife out and get her leveled up. And let's see. Make sure I get the wobble out of it, holding it level, and it points north. There you go, now it's moving. There's a little identifier bubble in there, so you can kind of make sure that the level is not seized up or canted at all, and you'll just have to take my word for it, it is pointing north um, where it's at right now. So that's good, that works. You don't want to have your knife right in there because that'll mess with the magnetism, but you take your knife out, and now you have a compass attached to it with a fire steel. So that's a really nice addition. Looks like the uh, compass, I'm not gonna try to break it, but, okay, I guess I'm trying pretty hard. Okay, I'm trying. Didn't come out. So that's glued in there pretty good. Or maybe it's a somehow designed in such a way that it can't come out. But looks good to me. If there's another option, gives you more function for your companion. That's really cool. And yeah, I'm just going to go to this one. This one really impresses me. So this is something I've got to ask him more questions about. But this is like the best of all of it. Get down there real tight. Throw a cork in there. So this one has the compass, this one has the compass, has the fire steel holder, and it also has a whistle built into the back of it. This is smart. I, I am impressed. It works really well, and I tried this out off camera a little earlier in the night, and uh, it's, it's really loud. It's loud enough that I'm not going to give it a good blow right now because it would wake up my daughter uh, on the other side of the house. And so I'm, I'm thinking this is what I would personally go with. This one has the most features. It's super affordable. And now this knife, honestly, this is, you know, we're talking survival knife territory. I know that a lot of people want a, a big, chunky, thick knife for survival knife. It's all in the way you use a knife, guys. That's what matters. Here in Minnesota, I don't need a big, fat knife all the time. It's nice at times, but I can do really well with this. In fact... This is my vehicle emergency knife. And so the reason I really like this is now I can have my kit, my system, all together. I have a compass on there, which 
I've tested these out and they're reliable, they work. I have a fire steel loop holder so that I can attach it to my knife and I'm gonna glue this one on there and uh, in my actual review, this is what you'll be seeing on there. Now, if you have like a 511 and you're saying to yourself, well, they're pretty close, those are similar sheaths, this has more ribs on it. You don't, you don't wanna try to just shove this onto a 511. Their, their body type is slightly different, but what I'm seeing on Otterman Outdoors uh, eBay page is that there's a lot of models on there and I think he's just gonna keep adding more and more to it. I, I would guess so, because he's doing really well uh, for a reason. People like this. This is the best idea for any Mora knife that I've seen. And that's why I'm willing to make a video for it, is I want to tell you guys, this right here, you need. You need to buy one. I'm going to have a video follow-up uh, in probably like a week or two. Right now it's it's about 20 below outside, so it's very cold, which means I would like to get outside. I just need a little time off work before I can get out, shoot a video, and just show you how uh, useful this is, rather than scrounging around your pocket or trying to loop a fire steel around somewhere else. I'll just show you some of the utility and function of this, but great design, really happy with it. Again, I'm going to tell you, go ahead and buy one now. I can't see any way that this would fail, especially if you're willing to just glue it on, which is what I intend to do. Thanks, guys. Go ahead and drop questions or comments down below.